All right, number four. So I'm just going to write it regularly. You guys can just guess it, you know. But number four is omnipresent. Okay, so how can you get omnipresent? Okay, how can you be able to do this with the people that you want to stay in contact with? You know, right now you're going to see a lot of people pulling back on their marketing budgets and this kind of thing, but maybe the people that really press forward are going to be the people that actually really truly win, right? You're going to be able to take more ground right now by pressing forward. And so I'm not going to suggest you go out and you know, be spending a gazillion dollars to promote yourself to people that don't necessarily know you. But what I'm going to talk about today is how can you be omnipresent with people who already know you, right? People that already know, like, and trust you on some level. How can you maintain, or if you don't have it today, how can you create being omnipresent for that audience? Okay. So there's really two pieces within being omnipresent, right? Number one is you have the organic side and then number two, you have the paid side. Okay. So on the organic side, um, so again, you just have to bear with me on the backwards, uh, on the backwards writing. I'm gonna figure out. Maybe I don't know. I just don't see a way to be able to. I just don't see a way to be able to, like, flip this, and see your comments and stuff at the same time. So, what's up, Jerry? What's up, Isaiah? Appreciate you guys for tuning on. So, number one, if you want to create omnipresence on the organic side. It's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is just be present on a daily basis. Okay, Facebook rewards accounts that they consider to be active. Okay, so what does Facebook consider active? It's at least one post per day. Okay, so an active profile is making at least one post per day. So it doesn't mean that you're coming to Facebook and you're liking and commenting and engaging with other people. It means that you're actually posting on your profile. And the reason that you want to do this is because as people are coming to Facebook, whether it's you know, Facebook is always deciding how to show people which posts to show them, right? Facebook calls it edge rank. There's three pieces to edge rank. There's um, basically, you know, how close is the relationship? How important is the post that you made? And how long has it been since the post was made? And since, um, and since people were engaging it, commenting, liking it, and that kind of stuff. So if you're creating content every single day on Facebook, if you're making posts on your personal profile every day, you're gonna have more chance of being present when people are going looking through the newsfeed. Now, in a perfect world, you're making even more than one post per day, right? Maybe you're making two to three, four posts per day. If you're actively working Facebook, you know, and, and wanna be present here and you're using it as a business tool, right? I mean, if you're just trying to keep up with your friends and family on Facebook, you probably don't have to post four or five times a day, right? But if you're trying to use it from a business standpoint, keeping in mind that the business is the commercials and all the other stuff is the entertainment is the really the value why people are connected with you then you know you need to be making more content the more content you create the more often you have a chance to pitch a commercial right or insert a commercial so on the organic side it's basically all you need to do is be present right let me ask you this drop a comment right now and let me know on average how many facebook posts are you making on your personal profile on a daily basis Okay, so leave me a comment and let me know what, what you have going on right now, what that normally looks like. What's up, Mom? What's up, Luca? Appreciate y'all for watching. Um, so there, on the organic side, if you need to be present and you want to be present on Facebook and you want to have people, when they're coming over, they're seeing you and you're part of the conversation, then you need to be making posts, right? If you're only kind of a lurker and you're only engaging with other people's posts and other people's um content then you're not really you're not really adding to the conversation necessarily right you're not creating any of your own conversations and all that stuff is great you definitely should be engaging with other people you definitely should be um, you know commenting and liking and you know doing all that kind of stuff but it, but ultimately what are you adding to the conversation right where are you creating conversation within your own profile think about the fact that your profile is always trending up or down right these videos, I'm assuming my profile will trend upwards a little bit, right? The video yesterday got almost 500 views. Hopefully you guys will love this one and share it out with your friends. And maybe we'll get even more, right? It'll trend my profile upwards because I'm making content that people are engaging and people are watching the content. So you gotta think about that too. Are you creating content that people are engaging on your profile? And that can be videos like this, like we talked about yesterday. That, that can be, you know, all, um, sorry, that can be like text posts, that can be photos. You got all, you know, a lot of different options, right? But on the organic side, you have to be present. Okay, 
Here's a really simple exercise that you can do if you, um, if you need to figure out what to talk about. So let me know, drop me in the comments right now if, if it would be helpful if I share with you real quick how to create six different things that you can always talk about on Facebook. Because I hear from people often that the, one of the challenges is that they don't know what to talk about, or they don't know what to say. So just let me know real quick in the comments if you have that challenge, I'm gonna share with you a real quick exercise that you can take yourself through and you can literally solve that challenge forever. You'll never again say, I don't know what to talk about on Facebook, okay? So here's what it looks like, okay? We're gonna create six boxes. So you can do this on a piece of paper, real simple, okay? Just get out a blank piece of paper and put, create six boxes on that paper, okay? Because, and we're gonna solve that right now. Yeah, Chast, exactly, and what's up, Alex? Appreciate you. So what you're gonna do is, um, is we're gonna create this six, this six boxes on a piece of paper, okay? And now on, on this line here, right here, you're gonna, be, you're gonna write the word for, F-O-R. And on this line down here, you're gonna write the word as, okay? And so basically we have three boxes for the for and three boxes for the as, okay? Now, what you do is with this right here, essentially what we're gonna create is three things that you wanna be known for and three things that you want to be known as, okay? So I'm just going to fill in some examples again. Totally understand this is backwards, but hopefully the visual will help you, um, will help you gather this. And uh, what's up, Nathan? What's up, Zach? Yeah, so you're going to dig this. All right. So, so what, what are things that you could want to be known for? And I would love, you guys, feel free, jump in the comments. Let me know some examples of things that you want to be known for, things that you want to be known as, okay? So, for example, I want to be known as a family man, okay? So I, don't, I want people to see that I'm doing stuff with my wife, with my son, with my family, you know, that family is important to me. I want to be known as that, right? I want to be known as a family man, okay? I want to be known for my Nerf collection. All right, so I want to be known, like, for being a Nerf enthusiast for my Nerf collection, okay? So that could be one example of that, okay? I want to be known, um, I want to be known for my barbecue skills, okay? Maybe you guys like to cook. Maybe you like to throw some steaks down on the grill. Maybe you like to, you know, make, maybe you're Italian, you like to make homemade gravy, right? This kind of thing. And that could be a, a part of your personality that like in real life, people know that about you. They know that, man, Mike throws down the gravy, right? But maybe on Facebook, nobody knows that about you because it's not something that you talk about, okay? So like your barbecue skills, okay? I wanna be known as a marketer, okay? Or is it like a thought leader, right? Is whatever you wanna put here, right? So. I can be making sure that that's coming out of my stuff. I, you know, um, I want to be known for, um, you know, let's see, what else? I want to be known for, uh, like, yeah, I would say, like, I want to be known as a cannabis user, okay, for example, right? I don't, you know, like, I intentionally put that out to make myself different from, you know, other people are obviously, you know, using cannabis. I don't have a tons of bar. With I mean, I'm decent on the grill, but mostly with, like, steaks and, you know, that kind of stuff, right? But I definitely like to throw it down. Okay, I want to be known for, um, I want to be known for generating uh, cheap leads, generating leads, right? Uh, generating leads and growth, okay? So that people could know that about me, right? So these are just some examples, and you can create your own, your own six-part thing, right? Yeah, I know I'm writing backwards again, man. I don't. It's, it's the only way that I can see your comments and see that you're telling me that I'm writing backwards, and be able to write on the board. So. You just have to take it for what it is, right? But this, this process right here is pretty simple, okay? Six blocks on a blank piece of paper, write four and as next to the three blocks, and fill all those things in, right? What do you want to be known for? What do you want to be known as, okay? Obviously, that can't all be mortgage-related. It can't all be church-related or whatever, right? This is how you can create different personalities and kind of think about that, right? If you need help, ask people around you. What do you, you know, what do they know you as? What do they know you for, okay? That's going to help you to, on the organic side, to always have content, okay? If you want to be present and you want Facebook to consider your profile to be active, you need to be making at least one post per day, all right? So having the six things, the known for, known as, it's going to help you to have that content, you know, to know what you can talk about. So that way, you can't, if you're on Facebook or you're thinking like, man, I really need to, I remember Nick said we need to make a post once per day. I don't know what to talk about. Go to your little cheat sheet, look through what you've talked about recently, 
talk about one of the other pieces, right? So if you've been talking a lot about mortgages and the market and all this kind of stuff, maybe you need to post a picture with your family or your dog or a funny video, right? Of you guys nerfing or maybe you go live while you're cooking your steaks and you talk about real estate questions, mortgage questions while you're grilling your steaks, right? Now you're, now you're combining those different pieces, right? Watch the video in a mirror and it's not backwards. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. That's the hustle right there. So, you know, you want to, you need to have those different aspects, right? You're probably awesome in real life, but maybe online it's not translating. Okay. So being omnipresent is going to help right now, especially like we've talked about. Everybody's looking on social media more often today than, you know, maybe is normal during the workday because they're used to being at work and that kind of thing. Yeah, right. Ask people around you what they know you for, what they know you as. And, and it, interestingly, is see if that matches with what you want to be known for and known as. The good news is that we're like our own paparazzi and we get to decide what is being said about us on social media, right? So if we're deciding that, that that's awesome because now we can make sure that we're bringing out those qualities that we want people to know about us, okay? And you can, like I said, it, it's almost like a math thing where you can at least have some equation or like have a cheat sheet to go back to and use that, okay? So that's how you can be omnipresent on the organic side.